So to check your wheel bearings, you're going to want to elevate your vehicle. The tire in the air, you want to grab at 12 and 6, and you want to shake it back and forth. And in this one, there's just a little bit of play, and in my driver's side, there was a lot of play, so I'm taking both of these apart and going to retighten these uh, bearing assemblies, and I'm going to lube the spindle bearing as well. We're not going to be taking the bearings apart and cleaning everything and re-greasing everything. I want to make sure that everything here is really clean so that we don't introduce dirt. And then I like to spray a little bit of penetrating oil and aim for the slit in all of the cone washers. So we squirt down the cone washers first while we remove all of these components to give it time to work. And then uh, that way we can, uh, when we're ready, we'll be I just use one, the same bolt over and over, and that way if I booger it up, I only booger up one. What happened is, is the hub has got a spline into the axle after the notch for the circlip and these splines can get boogered up and it can make the um, make it hard for the hub to slide over a little file knock down some bad spots Bam, easy peasy. This this is this is hand this is loose. I don't know if I can catch it on camera. Look at that. Loose. Look at that. Unacceptable. Excuse me. Screwdriver. Just give gentle tappy taps. Since I'm not repacking this, every tool that you stick in here, you got to make sure it's clean so you don't put dirt, dust, by hand. This should be at 40, 43 foot-pounds. Undo this thing by hand. Jesus. It doesn't hold the front wheel on or anything. And then we can, so that's your first... And here's your lock washer. So again, you're going to take your tools, clean your tools. Bam. We're going to clean this up. I'm going to flip it over. So I'm going to be replacing the wheel bearings shortly. Or before I went on a pretty long road trip tonight. So. All this stuff is indexed by a little channel right there. We gotta clean this off, give it a little spritz if you want. Brake clean. The other thing we gotta do is we gotta space the brake 
pads off of the rotor. We just don't want any interference with the drag test. So we get the torque wrench and torque it to Settle everything. I'm gonna spin this both ways. We're gonna loosen it. And tight. And go back to 43 pounds. Back it off to about 17. Check the preload here. About 26 pounds on the torque wrench and was about 13, 13 pounds of preload. I'm going to take our claw washer and I'm going to set it on something flat and hard, bang it straight. That's what she said. Got all new parts sitting inside the house. I just we're just gonna bang these flat with our straight claw washer you should replace these. Don't want to use them onto the spindle. Now this one I want to torque to 43. So this is where flat occurs on the outside. And I kind of like to leverage off the, this pin here. Tappy tap. On the far side, where flat lines up with the lock washer, you just give it a little tap. Here we go. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna lube the spindle bearing. Pop that in. I've got my own little DIY tool. Go over here. Pull it off. Everything's done here. The gasket's in great shape. So we're just gonna wipe the hub flange. Looks beautiful. Check the gasket, make sure there's no old tears in there and we want to make sure we're really clean as well which it looks good so the hub can spin but you got to index it on the axle so and then there you go kind of, I don't know if you can catch that but kind of burp the axle through see it took the majority of this grease with it so we just want to wipe the face of this and there we go if you're going to use a bolt to pull the axle through uh, if you need that you got to make sure you get all that grease out of there but otherwise you're all set go down to, I think, 22 foot-pounds or so. Bam! Done. So we cleaned all of this and all of the backside. And then let's torque our new lugs. 
beautiful with this job complete if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you have any comments put them down below please subscribe and here's a link to another video I've done thanks guys I really appreciate it I hope you like these videos Boom!